And welcome back. In 2022, Montgomery County report, police reported 48 anti-Jewish incidents, an increase of 55% from 2021. This year, nine separate anti-Semitic incidents have been reported at four of our county public schools. What's causing this demonstration of hate in a county that prides itself on diversity and where Jews make up more than 10% of the county population? Nancy, the county council recognized this growing problem as, as recently as last year, last November, it passed a, uh, unanimously passed a nine binding resolution condemning anti-Jewish hatred, but it's most recent incidents that are so concerning because they've taken place at the schools. What's the solution? Uh, it's really interesting. I, I don't recall. Uh, this is a major, a really major, well, it's, it's come up periodically. Um, this kind of behavior within the community and I don't know what's coming from now. Uh, the other thing to remember is that there's a lot of scrutiny about whatever anyone says in any context. And so anyone saying, uh, inappro using inappropriate language in a private conversation, in a group situation, much less a public situation, uh, is gonna get called out for it. And I think that's appropriate. Uh, but that's one of the things that's uh, changed, I think, the transparency of everything that happens, particularly in the school system where uh, this people do hold the schools accountable for monitoring and managing student behavior. It's a big problem and it's a big challenge for the school system it's increasingly. Jim, many uh, Jewish parents are frustrated and, uh, and one example was an op-ed that Joel Rubin the vice mayor of town, the town of Chevy Chase wrote, who demands greater accountability from the school system. They're saying they're not punishing kids. They haven't, they haven't done any due diligence and found out who are the perpetrators of a lot of these incidents. So is the school system doing enough? No, they're not. And condemning this conduct is not enough. To me, this is another reason why we should have a police officer at every school. These SRO officers should be in the schools. And when they find someone who has done this, anti-Semitic or anti-any commentary, they should be punished. They should, if it's done, if it's proven that they did it, they should be thrown out of school permanently, made a permanent mark on their record. So they're not gonna get into a good college, if any. And uh, if the conduct is beyond just uh, an insult, if there's, if there's, if there's conduct that uh, destroys property, things like that, it's a police matter. But these kids have to be punished so that the rest of their lives, they'll regret what they did. Condemning means nothing. But isn't Punishing that awfully harsh, Jim? I mean, there's- No, there, it's not. There have, been, no. there have been some commentary that's saying that this is just regular teenage behavior and we shouldn't, and we shouldn't put a black mark on them for life. No, it, it's, it's not uh, innocent, especially if you're Jewish or your family had to go through the Holocaust. Any religion that's uh, treated like this, to them, it's the most important thing in their life. And uh, I, I, punishment is the key here. Sounds harsh, but that's life, Casey. Nancy, yeah, one life. of the thing, one of the things that I've that I've that I've learned is that that the school systems have not been involving the parents when they've found certain students uh, have been involved in these activities. That they haven't even notified the parents, and that now as part of their their new strategy, they're going to bring the parents in. Isn't this a little bit too late to be doing that? Uh, well, I'm, I'm surprised that it's new. Uh, and yeah, I would agree. I mean, I, parents should be involved in all of this from the get-go. Uh, a lot of the issue is, I suppose, um, uh, does the school system have the resources to verify these kinds of assertions, that sort of a thing? Uh, and how do you handle an internal investigation of that nature? And I think the school system is called on more and more uh, to arbitrate these situations and, and make the right call under the, with the right information. You know, it's always been my experience having you know, dealt with some school issues of my, of my own as, as a, on a trustee of a, of a couple of two different schools. The, 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 the students know what's going on. They know, they know who have done this uh, type of behavior and uh, it doesn't become a secret uh, very, very long. So I'm a little surprised that, uh, that 
that the schools haven't taken a harsher uh, turn towards this. And it's obviously it's something that the county council is well aware of based on their resolution from last year. <laughs> <laughs>